Hi right, guys and welcome back to another quick material tutorial in Cinema 4D and V-Ray. In this video I will show you how to recreate this wood material. Uh, I think this is a medium wood fine uh, material. And in the second part of the tutorial we are gonna um, see how to increase for this material a new overlay of shiny uh, specular added to it but uh, it's time to see what happens in our tutorial here so for um, any any kind of other material we will have uh, show before uh, I have to create a new V-Ray Bridge advanced material that's the basic material that I usually use in the 99% of my material preparation in Cinema 4D and V-Ray. So now it's time to see what it's looked like in our render. As you can see I have this texture, it's downloaded from sketchuptexture.com. Uh, you can find very good texture for free on this uh, video, in, in this site, and I show you how to, with only the color map, to recreate the complete material here. So for, for now I will turn off my bump and specular and see you what it's look like in my render. As you can see nothing fancy, nothing uh, brilliant but it's the basic color looks good. I have in this stage I have also my uh, text color texture here at 100% doesn't matter this brightness if you don't change the mix mode only 100% of this texture is showing you in the, the material by copy this texture in my in my bump here and that with a filter layer simply to do this go home this and click filter with your map uh, apply it by paste here you can tweak uh, the texture uh, a bit to desaturate it and increase with uh, enable clipping the contrast to create this kind of results here as you can see without the clipping we have a very poor result this is a more uh, convenient map for the bump so I enable it and set it up the amount to 0 0.1 cm in my case but you must try it on your own so we can see in our render only the bump map to see what it looks like And as you can see, it's very fine, just a little bit of bump, but uh, with the clipping uh, method I can increase and decrease in the in the venue of my in the venues of my boot, so it's it's create a very good re uh, realistic results. After activate my bump, I copy the same texture with filter. Simply right-click on texture and copy it, and paste it on my specular layer here, and I leave it in the same uh, settings like on the bump because for me it's work good. But maybe in some case you must uh, tweak these settings. Okay, I activate also my color now and I set it up my Fresno layer air to 1.5. Uh, normally by default is 1.6, so I decrease a little bit this value and my reflection glossiness to a 
medium matte material uh, so I set it up to 0.8 instead of 1 now I show you the result uh, sorry the wall brightness of my specular color is set it up to 95% I show you how it's look like the final tunings of my material As you can see my bumps works very well and also with my the combination of my specular and bump I have I, I've obtained a very good result in this area here and it's look uh, very realistic as you can see and also um, simulate a medium opaque uh, medium matte wood uh, and uh, I think for me it's good so let's see in the other parts of the tutorial bye